Hi, welcome to Shruti Lakshmi's virtual classroom. Today we are going to see easy division. Let's see this example. In this example, the dividend is 43452 and the divisor is 102. Let's see the easy method to divide 43452 with 102. First put a slash separating the last digit 2. Then we multiply 2 with the last digit of the quotient and, and divide it with 10. Isn't it easy to divide by 10 instead of 102? We do not need to remember the 102 tables. Hooray! First, find how many tens can fit in 43. Four tens can fit in 43. So write down the write down four in the quotient line and then do 10 times 4 which is 40 and write 40 below four, 43. Next to 43 minus 40 which is 3. Then bring down 4. Next do the last digit of quotient multiplied with the last digit of the divisor. So 4 times 2. 4 times 2 is 8. So we do 34 minus 8 which gives us 26. Then we find how many tens can fit in 26. 2 tens can fit in 26. So we write 2 above in the quotient line. So we do 10 times 2 which is 20 and write 20 below 26 and subtract 26 minus 20 which gives us 6. Then we bring down 5. Then we do the last digit of the quotient times the last digit of the di divisor. So 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. We write 4 below 65. Next we do 65 minus 4 which gives us 61. Next we find out how many tens can fit in 61. 6 tens can fit in 61. So we write 6 upon the quotient line and do 10 times 6 which is 60 and next we do uh, next we subtract 61 minus 60 which gives us 1. Next we bring down the 2. Then we do the last digit of the quotient times the last digit of the divisor. So 6 times 2. 6 times 2 is 12. So we do 12 minus 12 which gives us 0. So the quotient is 426 and the remainder is 0. Let's see another example. In this example, the dividend is 53664 and the divisor is 104. Let's see the easy method to divide 53664 with 104. First, put a slash separating the last digit 4 from the rest of the digits. We multiply 4 with the last digit of the quotient and divide it by 10. Isn't it easy to divide by 10 instead of 104? We do not need to remember the 104 tables. First, find how many tens can fit in 53. 5 tens can fit in 53. So, we write 5 on the quotient line and do 10 times 5 which is 50 and write 50 below 53. Next, we subtract 53 minus 50 which gives us 3. Next, we write down 6. Next, we do 5 times five times 4. So, it's the last digit of quotient times the last digit of the divisor. 5 times 4 is 20. So, do 36 minus 20 which equals 16. Next, we find how many tens can fit in 16. 1 10 can fit in 16. So, we write 1 on, on the quotient line and do 10 times 1, 10. Write down 10 below 16 and do 16 minus 10 which gives us 6. 
Next, we bring down 6. Next, we do the, um, the last digit of quotient times the last digit of divisor. So, 1 times 4. 1 times 4 is 4. So, we do 66 minus 4, which equals 62. Next, we find how many tens can fit in 62. 6 tens can fit in 62, so we write 6 on the quotient line. Next, we do 10 times 6, which equals 60, and write 60 below 62. So, we do 62 minus 60, which equals 2. Next, we bring down the 4. Then, we do 6 the co the last digit of the quotient times the last digit of divisor. So 6 times 4. 6 times 4 is 24. So we do 24 minus 24 which equals 0. So the quotient is 516 and the remainder is 0. Let's see another example. 31512 divided by 52. The dividend is 31512. And the divisor is 52. First, put a slash separating the last digit 2 from the rest of the digit. First, find how many 5s can fit in 31. 6 5s can fit in 31. So put 6, so write 6 on the quotient line and do 5 times 6 which is 30 and write 30 below 31. So, th so we do 31 minus 30 which gives 1. Next bring down 5. Next do the last digit of the quotient times the last digit of the divisor. So 6 times 2 is 12. So we do 15 minus 12 which gives us 3. 3 is not divisible by 5. So, we write down a 0 and bring down the 1. So, next we do 0 times 2 which is 0. So, we do 31 minus 0 which equals 31. Next, we do we find how many 5s can fit in 31. 6 5s can fit in 31. So we write 6 on the quotient line and do 5 times 6 30 and write 30 below 31. So we do 31 minus 30 which gives us 1. Next we bring down 2. Next we do the last digit of quotient multiplied with the last digit of divisor so 6 times 2 6 times 2 is 12 so we do 12 minus 12 which gives us 0 so the quotient is 606 and the remainder is 0 see another example 1589 divided by 112 in this example the dividend is 1589 and the divisor is 112 we put First, we put a slash separating the last digit 2 from the other digits. How many 11s can fit in 15? One 11 can fit in 15. So, we put, put the, write the 1 on the quotient line. And 11 times 1 is 11. So, we do 15 minus 11 which equals 4. Next, we bring down the 8. Next, we do 1 the quotient's last digit times the divisor's last digit. So 1 times 2 is 2. So we do 48 minus 2 which equals 46. Next we find how many 11's can fit in 46. 4 11's can fit in 46 so we write 4 on the quotient line and do 11 times 4 which is 44 and we subtract 46 minus 44 which equals 2. Next we bring down the 9. Next we do the last digit of quotient times the last digit of the divisor. So 4 times 2. 4 times 2 is 8. So we do 29 minus 8 which equals 21. So the quotient is 14 and the remainder is 21. Thanks for watching.